Hi all, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be discussing about upselling in Odo. So what is upselling? Upselling occurs when the delivered quantity is greater than the ordered quantity. So we'll talk with an example. If I'm going to a phone shop to buy a keypad phone. So my plan is to buy a keypad phone. And there'll be a salesperson who's guiding me. And he's asking me or he's convincing me to buy a touch screen phone. He's keeping on convincing me and I'll fall for him. And I'm buying a touch screen phone and I'm leaving the shop with a touch screen phone. So in that case also, upsell occurs. Now, let's see how to implement upsell in Odo. Okay, so let's see how to do upselling. For that, let's open the sales module. And here you can see all the quotations. Now let's create a new one. So click on create button here. And here we have to choose a customer. So you can choose any customer. And here you have to add a product. So while adding a product, you have to be careful that Make sure that the invoicing policy of the product is ordered quantity. So I'm adding a product here. And let's check, okay? Go to the internal link of the product. And here you can see the invoicing policy of the product is in order quantity. So now let's go back to the quotation. And here I'm setting the quantity to 8. Okay? And let's confirm it to a sale order. It's confirmed to a sale order. Next step is to create an invoice. So create invoice, create regular invoice, create and view invoice. The invoice is created. Next thing is to confirm it and also proceed with the payment. So here we have the register payment, create payment. Okay, so here you can see the ribbon has come. So the payment is completed. Now let's go back to the sale order. There we have a smart button called delivery. So click on the delivery button and we have to validate the delivery. So I'm opening, it's transfers. So here you can see the demand is eight and the done quantity is zero. So here you have to change it to any greater value. So I'm giving 10 and you will have to provide lot and serial number in this case. So I'm choosing one, confirming it. Okay. Now here we have quality checks and only after that we have uh, we can validate it. So let's do the quality check. Pass it. Okay, here we have validate. So let's validate it. Now it's validated. And let's go back to the sale order. Now please take a look at the sale order reference. It's 90. Okay. Let's go to the invoice. Now before that, here you have the quantity is 8 and delivered quantity is 10. And also the invoice quantity is 8. That is we only invoice for the quantity which is ordered. Right. Now let's go to the menu here. To invoice. Orders to upsell. Now here you can see our sale order has come. So this is how you do sale uh, upselling in uh, Odoo. Which is nothing but give a greater quantity for the delivered value than the ordered value. And we also have another thing which is the cross sell. In Odoo cross sell and upsell both are the same. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.